Hello friends, welcome to Feeding Artists. My name is Amanda and today I'm going to be tattooing a pumpkin. So as you might be able to tell, it is spooky season, which is my favorite season. And I just wanted to do something kind of cool and different for Halloween. So I decided that I would try to tattoo this pumpkin. I might try to do this and it might go horribly wrong. I don't know if anyone's tried to tattoo a pumpkin before. I haven't really looked for it. I know it's generally not the uh, produce of choice when it comes to practicing, but we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see how it goes. So my weapon of choice is just gonna be this sewing needle taped to a pencil. And then I'm gonna be using just some acrylic paint as my ink for the pumpkin. And just a disclaimer, if you're planning to tattoo an actual person, there's a lot more steps you need to follow and you definitely should not be using a sewing needle and acrylic paint on a human body. So I'll be leaving a link down below if that's something you're interested in learning about since my video for this is just made for entertainment purposes. So with that out of the way, let's get to the pumpkin.
So this is my finished pumpkin. Right now I just have three designs on it. I might end up doing some more later, so if you're interested in seeing that, feel free to follow my Instagram at Feeding Artists and I'll be posting any other designs that I end up tattooing on this after the video is completed. The one like really difficult aspect of tattooing the pumpkin was that whenever you poke the needle into it, a liquid would come out. So sometimes it would be difficult to know like when you were actually putting ink into the pumpkin because the paint and the liquid would get mixed together. And sometimes I would just be at it, kind of poking away, making a design, and then I'd wipe all the excess paint away. And what I would find is that nothing is there because I was just poking in liquid. So that's definitely something that isn't ideal, that you might not have to deal with on other fruit, fruits. A pumpkin isn't a fruit. Another thing with the liquid that I didn't anticipate happening because it didn't happen with the trick or treat or the snake was that I finished my death moth last night. And so I went to bed and I got back up in the morning and when I saw it, there were these little like circular pellets. One of them was kind of sticking out, kind of almost looked like an icicle. And when you touched it, they were kind of like squishy. So I guess it was basically a liquid that had come out and then dried. And this is just the consistency. That's like how it happened. I don't know. <laughs> it was just super strange and I wasn't expecting it at all. And then I left it for another few hours and it's gone back and kind of done the same thing. So I don't know if you could see it on here now, but right now it also kind of has the little like weird bulb things. <laughs> I don't know if you could see it at all. So that was really strange. I hope that it eventually just doesn't do that. <laughs> Other than the liquid, I think this was a really fun project. I had a lot of fun doing it. And I think it's just something that's kind of cool and different from just your traditional painting or carving the pumpkin, which is something that really excites me because then I have something that's totally unique and different from everyone else's pumpkin. And with that, I hope you guys all have a very happy Halloween. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like and maybe consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.